Welcome back to Energy Plus for Beginners. And in this video, I will continue how to show you how can we model air conditioning, air renovation, and infiltration in Energy Plus. So in the previous video, I'll show you how can we set ideal loads air conditioning. And now I'm going to show you how can we add air renovation and couple this air renovation with the air conditioning that we set. So let's go to our model here and basically this is the HVAC that we already set okay in the previous video so what we want to do is to press ctrl l and let's find a class called here design specification outdoor air so let's include one object here two objects actually and let's uh, specify the conditions for the air renovation. So let's name this object as air renovation living room and air renovation bedroom. Okay. Here uh, we can set the characteristics of this air renovation as basically four methods. Okay. We can have like for uh, Airflow per person, airflow per zone, floor area, airflow per zone, or airflow per air changes per hour. So this is a very, a very common unity that we use. Like we tell Energy Plus how much, how 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 many times the all amount of air inside a thermal zone is replaced. Okay, so basically. Uh, we choose one of these methods and we specify these methods here, okay? So I'm going to specify air changes per hour for the living room and air changes per hour in the bedroom. And basically here I can uh, replace this, these uh, values. This is a very, this is a default val value, which is very, uh, very useful. And Energy Plus tells us here what this means, like, what this default value means. Uh, but here I want to renovate this all the amount of air in the living room one time each hour. Okay. This is a very high renovation rate. Okay. And in the bedroom, I'm going to set like 0 0.5, like every two hours, all amount of air in the bedroom is going to be renovated. We can also set the schedules for this, but I'm not, it's, it's up to you. We can uh, let this integrated with the air conditioning. So now what we can do is go to the HVAC system that we set and we have to link those objects with the air conditioning system. So here where it says the outdoor air method is going is saying no. So let's uh, say detail specification, detail specification. You can see that Energy Plus has a lot of this, like we can do the, uh, the same thing in a different ways. So we can also specify the amount of air renovation here. It's very similar with that object. Then instead of using this value here, we can use like the air changes per hour a variable uh, equivalent here. But since we don't have our changes per hour here, I'm going to use this the data specification in another object. And then it's asking us design specification to our object name. So here we're going to choose the object that we already created. So the, this is the air renovation of the living room and this is the air renovation of the bedroom. And here I'm going to delete it. Okay, basically this is it. We can also specify some details here, but this is just more to play a little bit of the default values. You can use the default values and there is no problem with it. And that's it. Now we have our air renovation model together with the air conditioning system in Energy Plus. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.